How does the actual milking process compare to sheep? To um, the milking process is pretty similar. Up and at him this morning. Gonna milk the sheep. No, not yet. I'm gonna feed, feed out the hay. Oh, okay. Good morning, buddy. I like that sticker. Oh, they love you, buddy. I heard that hay. You want to pet one, Mr. Brown? Mr. Brown, you want to pet one? No. No. Good morning, Heather. Good morning. You got to milk sheep and goats this morning? Oh, yeah. We milk. We got eight that we got to milk this morning. Okay. So. How long does that take you? Um. Well, if Bennett and I do it together, or Eric and I, or Eric and Bennett, and uh, he helped, that helps a lot. Maggie's on a, a little on the thin side still right now because she had triplets this year, so we just actually wow. weaned her boys. And uh, so she's starting to put some, put some weight back on, thankfully, okay. but. Maggie, come on. Go on, you. The sheep are a little bit different because they have smaller, their teeth are quite a bit smaller than the goats. Her udder hangs down a little bit more than normal. What's up, Mags? No, she doesn't usually kick. What's the matter, girl? She nervous because all we're in, all of it, us in here. It might be, but I don't. That usually doesn't bother her because the kids are always usually around. That's the worst. We do have some first fresheners that if you videotape, they'll. Uh, that's what they'll do. <laughs> okay. Pretty much the whole time, you have to kind of sit there and hold your. Milk with one hand and hold the bowl with the other hand in case they pick up their foot and decide to kick it. <laughs> what made you decide to want to start drinking sheep milk? Sheep milk is a lot higher um, in proteins and fat, which makes it a lot better for cheese and yogurt. Sheep milk was actually the original milk used to make yogurt. Um, that's what your like your Greek yogurt is uh, was traditionally made with sheep's milk. Oh. So you for now, we combine it, we just combine it with our goat's milk, um, but we'd like to do more sheep and less goats, because the sheep are a lot less troublesome, I guess you'll call it. <laughs> Although she's trying to prove right now that not so much. <laughs> How come more people don't drink sheep milk? I don't know. It's very, uh, it's very thick and rich, but not even as comparison to like uh, Jersey milk. I mean, Jersey milk is super, super creamy. So, um, and sheep's milk, like goat's milk, is naturally homogenized, so you don't get that cream line like you would with cow's milk. Oh. So, and it's similar to goat's milk too. That it's a lot like with the goats and the sheep. Um, it's a lot easier to digest because that casein protein is not the same as cow's milk. It's different. It's more um, similar to human breast milk actually in digestion. Digestion-wise, and how you digest the casein protein. More so than a goat, or just more so than a cow? No, more so than a cow. She still has one of her babies on her, so she doesn't. She'd give a lot more milk if we. Uh, okay, where's the baby? She's out here. Oh, Even so you keep finish. the baby on her 24/7? Yeah, her daughter. The boys have been. Uh, the two boys have been separated. So the, that big chunky girl running towards us right yeah. there. That's her daughter. And you're still able to get some milk. Yep, and so that was probably just maybe uh, a pint and a half, I would guess, that I just milked out of her at least. Wow, so if you separated the baby at night, you'd get a lot more. I'd probably get at least a quart to a quart and a half. Wow. Yeah, yep. Why are you keeping the baby with her then at night? <laughs> right now, we logistically don't have a spot to put the baby. Okay, okay. <laughs> These three, we, we separate the goat babies in, at night and milk okay. the goats out. Whoa, you're tough. <laughs> Look, you picked that up. You helping, Mr. Brown? <laughs> he tried to Wah. pick it up on himself. Wow. Wow. Can you hold this so that it doesn't roll down the sure. hill? Sure. Look. I'll take 
Let's see if we can piece that little. Help me, Papa. Help you? Yeah. Okay. You want to ride in it, Mr. No. Bob? Oh, yeah. No. Hey, in it. Oh. Hey, Two on the goat duty. Now that you're milking a goat, oh, it looks like you're going a little faster. A little bit faster with this one. Just this one, not necessarily because it's a goat. No, this one and that one you can go pretty fast on because they're both pretty well, pretty seasoned milkers. They've been around for a while. The so, first fresheners are a little slower. So why are goats the cool thing right now and not sheep? Um, I think goats are just more popular. They definitely produce a lot more milk than the sheep normally. Um, most of the, especially up around here at least, most of the lines of sheep are, they don't produce as much milk. Like our other two out there, if we have the babies in with them, it's not worth milking because they, they only produce, even with the babies separate, maybe a pint to a three quarters of a quart yeah. of milk for us. All right, so are you using the sheep for meat? Then we do the sheep mostly for meat, and then we but we have the meat breed I mean, the milking breed so that we can milk them also. So okay. they become a tri purpose because they're also a wool breed, even though their wool isn't oh. super high quality. Um, we actually just watched one of your videos the other day and saw that somebody was using sheep's wool to line their nesting boxes, and we are going yes. to try that because we're having a lot of problems with scratching out the straw. How does the actual milking process compare to sheep? To um, the milking process is pretty similar. Their udders are a little bit different. Um, so their teats, you can see these guys, they have teats right about the size of my hand. Okay. So that fits right in my hand. The teats on a sheep are a little bit smaller and they tend to stick out the side. Okay. So you're kind of milking with two fingers in your first thumb and you have to really kind of pull down sideways a little to hit your bucket. And um, whereas the goat, you just kind of squeeze and it goes right in your bucket because they're facing straight down. Um, so that's really about it. The sheep sometimes are a little bit more where the goats don't seem to be quite as flight or fight. To, you know, they don't have that like as big okay. of a response. Um, so they're a little bit easier to train on the milk stand than the sheep. The sheep seem to be a little bit more nervous. So the first fresheners sometimes take a little while to get used to it too. How does the milk compare? The milk is similar. Um, I find it to actually be sweeter and um, a little bit um, thicker, richer, I don't Which know, one? Sheep milk? The sheep milk, yeah, okay. than the goat's milk. Is, that, is there any nutri nutrient advantage in sheep milk? The sheep milk is easier to digest. Um, it has a, um, it's very similar to the goat's milk in that it's, the protein is more similar to a, the human milk oh. protein also, so it's a little bit easier to digest. Okay, nice to know. So. <laughs> that goat smiled at me. <laughs> Good morning, where y'all been? Y'all been sleeping in? No, nope. y'all been in there doing the chickens. You been in there doing the chickens? I don't know. I think you've been honking your shoes inside. <laughs> no. Nope. Uh, Out at the chicken house. They've been inside honking their shoes. <laughs> No, <laughs> we've been out over that way at the chicken house. Okay, good for you. They're on chicken duty this morning. Oh, Mr. Brown found the babies. What? I, I was the one that let him in. You were? Thanks for letting him in. They cool with that? Oh, look. <laughs> it's on me. It's on me. <laughs> All right. Whoa. Whoa, Jacob, put that goat down. <laughs> <laughs> she, she don't put up with it, buddy. She, oh, you just grab one up, huh? Is that how it goes? Oh, hey, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it up. Yeah, you want to? Go ahead. Whoa, good job. You're a natural goater. I did a really good job. I'm a goater. This is how you do it. <laughs> Good job! You're doing it! First time holding a goat right there, buddy. Hey, nice mug. <laughs> hey, thanks. Coffee's good. Now, when you got that mug and supported the Kickstarter, did you ever dream we'd come see you? No. Not in a million years. <laughs> no.
<laughs> hey there. What's your job on the farm? <laughs> you look like maybe you're the mascot. Oh, she's the entertainment, huh? She's entertainment and mascot. I'd say so. You're just, you're entertaining just sitting there. You can't do it. Here. You can try this one. She knows I have green in the once I melt these out a little bit, it gets easier. There you go. What sometimes I do is I just use two fingers. There you go, Jonah. I see how it is, Eric. Super you're, si you're super. <laughs> Somebody's got to do it, right? <laughs> She's milking. He's supervising. I'm gonna let him milk the last one. He said this one doesn't take kindly to him. Exactly. Is it this one? Yeah. For some reason. Not a big What's fan. the problem? Why can't Eric milk this one? She is uh, a first freshener, so she's a little, and she's a little more flighty. And uh, what I always like to tell him is he gives off a predator vibe. Hey, <laughs> hey macho man. Sounds manly. <laughs> <laughs> so he makes her nervous. <laughs> What are we doing now, guys? We are going to put the babies back in with their moms. Okay, so here's the moms. Wait. Then the babies are in the stall next over. All right. And evidently, it's going to be crazy. Come on. Go with mama. Go with mama. Go see mama. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Go with the strength. No, the Zyda. Everybody stop. <laughs> it's quiet in the barn now. Did you notice that? All is well with the world now. Goats and kids back together. What are you doing there? Shaking a rudder around. Just so that I can get more milk to come down. Okay. That's kind of like what the kid would do. Yeah. They go like this yeah. to try and get more milk. The supervisor's bringing the milk inside. That's right. <laughs> milk, bowl, coffee. I got all the goods. And I just realized that I need So easy. And that's a half a gallon? Yep. Between them all, how, many, how much are you going to get? About a gallon and a half between all of them. Is that enough milk for you get you and your family? Yeah, it's, it's more than enough, yeah. What do you like to do with the milk? Uh, we make yogurt mostly. Um, we like yogurt a lot, so we make a lot of it. And then I do make uh, farm cheese right now, which is just a vinegar cheese. You just heat it to a um, boiling and then pour some vinegar in and it curdles. And so I use that a lot in replacement of cottage cheese. We eat it in pasta or with spinach or anything like that. Yeah. And uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So the super the supervisor said, but I should ask the mom. Is it enough milk for the family? Six kids, two adults. Oh yes, absolutely. For right now, if we start making more cheeses, this is our first year having um, as much. We get about two gallons a day total. So. I'd like to make more hard cheeses. What do you mean by hard cheese? So like cheddar cheese and uh, Colby Jacks and Parmesan and those types of things. Ooh. Ones that are going to take a little, they need pressing and that type of stuff. Look y'all, a variety of eggs. Let me guess, chicken, duck, yep. goose. Yep, here's a brown, more brown chicken egg too. Which is your favorite? Uh, we, well, it depends on what you're using it for. So if I'm baking, then I really like the goose eggs. You can use one goose egg, two eggs, um, but they're, they ha the whites are thicker and so they whip up better and oh. that type of stuff. Um, it's similar with the duck egg, but if you're doing a fried egg, the white gets a little bit on, almost like gelatin. So it's oh. kind of a funny texture. So for okay. a fried egg, we really like the chicken eggs. Just had a blast with those guys. Milking a sheep, you know? I, I got know. to see a sheep milk this morning. I know, and I slept in. And I wouldn't be terribly opposed to 
harvesting some sheep milk. Really? No. I'm excited to see what you got on the video today. I kind of like it because it's different. I mean, everybody's doing goat, right? Yeah. It's like the cool thing to do right now in homesteading. But, but all right. sheep is pretty cool. We're really excited and want to say a special thanks to our folks on the meetup yesterday. Such a good energy, such a good show up. So but many people, like you Mainers. <laughs> Mainers. You guys, I love it. you guys impressed. Like seriously, the the Dow family, the family we're staying with, they are absolutely amazing, wonderful, amazing hosts. And we had talked previously, and I said, oh, you know, ten-ish cars, maybe at the most, twenty-two, twenty-two cars showed up with lots of people. There was kids everywhere running around. It was so much fun. My kids had a blast playing with your kids. Justin and I had an amazing time meeting all you adults. And as far I just as 250 to, miles away before you yeah, get there. Yes, yeah, so we had some people come from really far away, 250 miles. It took them over four hours to get here. Thank <laughs> you. We, we're humbled. We're, yeah, we're so humbled that you guys chose to come visit us on Sunday. Like, it's very humbling for all these people to show up. And we appreciate every single one of you. And uh, I I think I hugged every, every single person that yeah. I came in contact with. But I want it, like... Another thing you Mainers did was like bounty. This is not even all of it, but we got we got five dozen eggs. <laughs> this is I don't not know all if of it. We've ever had to buy many eggs on this. Trip. No, like everybody hooks us up with eggs. So appreciated, so appreciated. I just can't even believe how you guys sacrificed your eggs for us, and that we just feel very grateful for that. You know what that means? Yes, we do know what it means. <laughs> um, maple syrup so this one is pure maple syrup it was bottled in durham maine and then they gave us a blueberry variety super excited about that one you know uh, maine blueberries and then another fam oh no this isn't it this isn't the one that we got and then this is another family knowlton hill farm gave us another like this means so much because I know how much goes into this small bottle so again like huge gratefulness we are so thankful you guys have just like yeah. chosen to share your bounty with us this is so cool it's a little game homemade uh, matching it's a, game it's a homemade matching game so you can our kids love that our mm -hmm. kids love matching games so there's the match of strawberries main branch company is okay. who gave this to us and I think it's so cute because they're little branches nice <laughs> Anyways, I'm sure our kids will enjoy this. Now, wait a minute. Where's the steak? I got oh, it right it there. here. Somebody gave us so a moose steak. We got moose steak. Like, moose. I know you can't see it in here, but we are going to eat this, and we will feature it on the <laughs> vlog, and we are super excited. Patrick and his family, amazing family. We had a blast with you just talking, and this is, like, so cool. Like, I can't even believe no, we're going to try moose. So cool. For the first time, We've you've never had moose, have no. you? No. So, yeah. Super we're going to text. We've emailed him to see if there's any special way to cook it. Mm -hmm. But once we figure that out, we're going to have some moose. Someone brought us some collards, fresh baby collards. Again, we know that this is this is a delicacy, yeah. you know? You guys worked hard to grow those. And then this is really cool. So, this is another Mainer thing. Burn fiddleheads. 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 Never heard of it. Never heard of it. We got like five pounds of these. Y'all brought this and we're super excited to try it. We're gonna saute it up in some garlic, um, hopefully sooner than later. So we're pretty excited to try it. Apparently this is a staple up north. Nicole yeah. and Kale, they eat this pretty regularly with potatoes. That's a, it's a staple in their family. So that's pretty cool. They go and they just harvest it in the woods and then he, they freeze it. It's it's great. It's like free vegetables. You know. You so know? I was thinking they're gonna give us the staple from Maine. Yeah. We should have had some grits. We should have some grits prepared I for know. them. I know. We should give them a North Carolina staple. I know because grits. <laughs> and if that's a good Southern thing. Uh, I should make sweet tea for people. Uh, that's what I should have. Yeah. You maybe next meetup we'll have a sweet obviously tea. Obviously, come bearing gifts. Which again, we are so grateful. We didn't. We had no idea when we woke up yesterday morning what we were going to be blessed with and we are so blessed and we thank you thank you thank you i just don't feel like i can say it enough and i hope that everyone had as good a time as we did yesterday